Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video for you guys, and I have 14 bolos coming your way, and we're just going to get started here. I'm going live at 10 o'clock tonight, um, so I've got about 30 minutes, so I'm going to zoom through this video. All right. And if you don't know, my live shows are every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I feature um, an eBay seller, um, someone from my Facebook group or a YouTuber, just somebody who has 10 or more bolos. And I share those. And I also pull bolos from the chat, which is a great way to get exposure for your store. So definitely check out my live show and bring your bolo. All right. The first item this seller sold is this wireless Doll, uh, pet dog confinement fence system and she paid ten dollars for it ten dollars um it doesn't say where she got it but most of her items have come from like garage sales she sold it for 225 dollars with fast and free shipping so very very cool ten dollars into 225 so definitely a be on the lookout I know I went to a garage sale and I saw stuff like this. Um, I think they were the callers and I didn't get them and I am like regretting it because the reason I didn't get them is because they were not Invisible Fence brand. They were more of a boxed um, thing like this and I didn't, I didn't, I should have looked it up and that was a mistake I made. So definitely be on the lookout for um, dog collars, even if they're used, they sell. The next item, this seller got a steal on these. Um, she picked these up for, let's see. She bought all of them for $25 at a yard sale. And she has this one and then another listing I'm gonna show you and she still has two left in her store to sell. So she had maybe eight bucks in this, on, in these four, salt, pepper, flour, sugar, amazing. Um, the brand is McKee and they are yellow in color. I'm going to give you guys a close up here. Um, I want to see if I can pull up, I think, I want to see where the, where it says McKee. I always am curious about like, um, branding, but I don't see it. Hmm. Does anybody, does it say it on the bottom? It's hard to see in the picture. I like to know what to look for. Maybe it'll be on the next one. Um, so she paid approximately $8 for this, accepted an offer of $145, and the buyer paid the shipping. She also sold this cereal one, and this one sold full price for $125, and the buyer paid the shipping. Let's see, I'm not seeing where it says McKee. Does anybody know? Um, does it say McKee or is that just something that you know by the looks of the item? Does anybody know? If you know, please comment below because I'm very, very curious. I know it has a pretty distinct look and I would probably recognize it, but I always like to look for brands because that helps me to identify things. And if I see a picture, I remember, but I'm not seeing anything on the bottom of that. This Pottery Barn um, it's like a seahorse and it's a mirror set. This came from, she doesn't say, but she spent $10 on it and it sold for 85 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is really, really, really neat. Super neat piece. Lennox nativity set and it's just three pieces and Got two similar sets for $8, one set sold for $45, which included shipping. I still have a three-piece jeweled set on eBay. Nativity sets are definitely a bolo. Um, vintage is great. I've even picked up um, items that are not vintage, and they do well also, especially, of course, around Christmas time. This is an English book. Um, that belonged to a family member and it was never used so she sold it so 
I, I don't know what they retail for, but she probably didn't make money on this. But if it wasn't used and it was sitting around the house, you know, definitely, definitely list those items. Um, I have found books like this, uh, textbooks, college books at, um, not estate sales, at yard sales, and I've done really well with them. So scan that barcode on the back and definitely look up these items. This is very cool. This is MASH. It's the complete DVD set, uh, seasons one through 11. There is a stink bug in my house. <laughs> it's flying up by the light. You know how they buzz. They have such a distinct sound. Um, okay, so seasons one through 11, plus the final goodbye. Um, let's see. Bought for $6 at a garage sale. He was asking 50 cents a DVD, sold for $68 with free shipping. I hope this stink bug, ah! <laughs> it's that time of year they're starting to get in my house. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the stink bug video. Did you see the stink bug video? Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry for the distraction. Um, this Dawn Featherstone blow mold <laughs> light up turkey um, bought for a dollar at a yard sale and it sold for 55 with $15 shipping. Oh my gosh, this thing is above my head. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what? They sound so funny. I'm not scared of them. I just don't want it to land on my head during the video. Okay, so this vintage 80s uh, Jets sweater uh, bought for $3 at a yard sale and it sold for $45 with free shipping. This Vineyard Vines um, flag uh, she picked up in a bundle, so probably had around $3 in it. And it's best offer of 35 with $5 shipping. And Vineyard Vines is typically a pretty good brand to pick up. Uh, clothing, I sold a hat for like $25, I think, that I picked up at a garage sale pretty cheap. So I always look for Vineyard Vines for sure. And I think ties do well also. This uh, Tiffany style stained glass uh, dragonfly lamp. Do you guys hear it? Can you hear? It just landed. It stopped. Um, so this is just the lampshade. And um, I think this was a garage sale and they were asking $20. And there was an imperfection on the side. So she ended up getting it for 10 and she accepted a best offer of $85 with um, the buyer paying the shipping costs. And she said she accepted it because the buyer was in her state and you know it would be cheaper for her to ship the item. The next item is this Bible. Again, Bibles, if there's a barcode on it, check it. If not, just type in what it says on the front and check um, sold history on those because a lot of times Bibles can be a bolo. She got this at a thrift store for $3 on half price day and it sold for $38 with free shipping. This one was a consignment item, so she got 50% of the sale, but I wanted to show you the brand. I've never heard of it. Um, M-A-T-O-U-K, Maddock. Not really sure how to say it. I think Maddock. I could be totally chopping it. But this sold for $90, and it's just um, a flat sheet. So definitely be on the lookout for that brand. You might get lucky and find it at a garage sale. I don't know. And this is another brand. Um that I've not heard of, but I'm not a big like home decor gal, but that's what it looks like. Masoni Home, and this sold for $75. Again, this was a consignment item, so she had nothing in it. She simply sold it for someone and got 50% of the profits, which is fantastic. So I'm going to take you into her store, and I'm gonna go to highest first. You can kind of just see some of the other things that she has listed. So here's the other that looks like it's, um, is it a cup or a, let's go in and look, I'm curious, or a bowl. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a canister. It just doesn't, okay. Uh, it says canister right there, sorry. Cereal and coffee, so missing the lids. That may be why they haven't sold yet. 
but definitely cool if um, somebody has a lid and maybe they broke the bottom or they look pretty cool just like that. So I will post a link to this gal's um, store down in the description of the video. So be sure to check it out. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, share, share the video. I love shares and comment. Did I say comment? All right, guys, have an awesome night. Thanks for watching. And again, the link to this store is in the description of the video. Thanks again. Have a great night.